hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel mrs smith 88 so today i have a yankee candle black friday haul for you guys so i did go out for black friday i only went to yankee candle kind of regret even going out to go to yankee candle because the sale literally was all weekend long I just honestly figured with how early my outlet mall opened that by like later in the afternoon, I figured the crowd would die down. I was wrong. I was very, very wrong. So my outlet was doing five for 55 large jar candles. Now, what a lot of people did not know, and I noticed this as they were ringing out, that if you were on the Yankee Candle Outlet email, they sent you an exclusive coupon for six for 60 which was a better deal. So instead of $11 a jar, they were $10 a jar. And my outlet's really good about letting me stack the 20% off $40 coupon in conjunction with that. So I did get six candles. They ended up being $8 each. I had $25 in candle cash. I had a $25 gift card. I walked out with 39 cents left on my gift card. I've been pretty good about not buying candles lately. I have a lot of hauls coming for you guys because it's stuff that I've like accumulated from like Kringle having a sale, from when Yankee did three wicks on sale, just stuff I haven't gotten around to filming that I need to film. But other than that, I've been behaving because I'm on a mission to save for something pretty big. I don't know if I want to tell you guys because I might end up doing a haul on it. I apologize. I'm a little coarse sounding because we are getting over the crud here at my house so let me show you guys the candles i picked up so the first one here is christmas apple spice i am an apple girl through and through this is right up my alley everything i bought it was in the old school um paraffin not the soy blend i do prefer the soy blend over the paraffin this smells exactly essentially like red apple wreath. I can't go wrong with red apple wreath. To me, this is a repackage of red apple wreath. Might be a little bit more of a pine note in there, but very, very similar, if not the same, to red apple wreath. I do have a kickback coupon that I will show you guys at the end. So I went ahead and I grabbed Yankee Candle Returning Classic in Sugar Plum. You guys know I'm a purple girl through and through. I was going to say my sweater is purple. It's more of a mauve. I wore more of a mauve sweater. I wore this for Thanksgiving. I threw it on again today. So Sugar Plum from Yankee Candle. Ooh, this smells better now than it did in the store. Like, it smelled good in store, but, like, I like it even more now. I almost filmed in front of my Christmas tree. I should have filmed in front of my Christmas tree for you guys. But, um, I definitely get a plummy, fruity smell with sugar. Like, almost like a crystallized burnt sugar. Almost like a spun sugar smell. Yeah, I, I definitely get like a toasted sugar smell with plum in this one. Definitely a unique scent. I really hope that it's a powerhouse, unfortunately, just smelling on cold sniff. It does smell like it's going to be a light thrower. Oh, the lid popped off this one. So last week, my store was actually giving this out as a freebie. I was glad they actually had it in stock. I did not get it for free. But I got an email that if you spent $30 at the outlet, you could get this candle for free. Um, they had it for sale today, and this is Christmas candy. I was really interested in getting this. Just for nostalgia, growing up at my grandmother's house, she always had like those ribbon candies and hard candies out for Christmas. That's exactly what's on the label of this. Oh, I love this. So I definitely get like a cinnamon spiced candy smell. Like you get that ribbon candy, but I, you also get like that cinnamon spice in there with it. This I think is going to be at least a medium thrower. It does have a white label on it, so it does look like a retailed outlet. I did not check the others. White label on Christmas apple spice. And a white label on 
the uh, sugar plum. All right, so three more candles left. This one is technically a fall one. I can't get away from fall candles. I love fall candles so much. This is a white pumpkin and praline. I don't believe I picked this up in any of my last couple of hauls. I smelled this. I'm like, oh, I have to have this. It was between getting this and getting cookie swap. I almost grabbed cookie swap, but I felt like I was getting cookie swap for all the wrong reasons. It's because people loved it, but it was too vanilla for me and I'm not a vanilla person. So I set that back and I went ahead and I got the white pumpkin praline. So this is like a nutty, woody pumpkin smell. Definitely smells a little bit masculine, a little bit manly. Once again, these are always my personal in interpretations. I know I have somebody that tends to like to troll my YouTube a little bit and be like, oh, do your homework, do your research on scent descriptions before doing videos. I always give you guys my personal interpretation of what I think it smells like because I think it's always good to have a second opinion and not always go by what you see on a company's website. It's easier to relate to a person than a product description. So then we have here Yankee Candle Magical Christmas Morning Christmas Morning Punch. And I was happy to pick up some Christmas candles. Oh, this one, I love this one. This is very fruity, very juicy. I would say that this is right up there with me loving Fruity Tootie. Like this one might knock Fruity Tootie off of its pedestal because I like it just a little bit more. Definitely punchy smelling. I mean, if you like Fruity Tootie, I definitely think that you would like Christmas morning punch. And the last we have here. Oh, and let me check and see what color that label is. White again. And this one has a white label as well. So the last one I grabbed is Bubbly Pomegranate. And oh, this one smelled so good in store. Oh, I love this one. So a very heavy, fresh pomegranate smell. Effervescent champagne in there. Out of all six, this smells like the strongest one in the bunch. I'm really hoping that this one ends up being a powerhouse. So that is everything I got at the Yankee Candle Outlet. Like I said, they did give me a bounce back coupon. Oh, nothing really special. It says save the date Friday, December 2nd. Return to save on holiday gifts. 20% off of any $50 purchase. Now, mind you, my outlet website has 20% off of a $40 purchase. So this is not really anything special. They are doing a dollar personalized candle label day. Cool feature, but personally, I have no interest in personalized candles. So this coupon is an easy one to toss. So once again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you for watching and bye everyone.